All right, my little ball of floof. That's it, she's saturated. So I'm gonna stand here with her and have a little chat and some pity pats. Yes, some pats, pop down. For, I don't know, we'll try for five minutes. We'll see how long she lasts and we'll pop back for a rinse off. Oh, where's your tail? Okay, for a start, she's somewhat content to lay this way. Um, but the clipper obviously makes her a bit nervous in those areas, which is totally understandable. Hi guys, Kylie the Groomer and look, it's Ivy. So, hi Ivy. Ivy's a Pomeranian and she's a little firecracker. You're adorable, aren't you? Yes, she's adorable. Now, um, I will pop her before picture up. I won't, husband will, here so you can see what she looks like when she came in. Um, I have already started to brush her. And this is her little ball of floof that's already come out. Can you sit next to your ball of floof? There we go, look at that. Ivy and her ball of floof. Hey, all right. So um, I've brushed, I've been brushing her for about half an hour. So uh, mum's had a little baby a few weeks ago, her third little one. And um, Ivy's generally fairly um, tidy and very well looked after and loved. But um, in the last few weeks, she's gotten herself a few mats in her booty and just around her ears while mum's been settling into new bub life. So a um, little bit unfortunate, but we'll have to do probably some snipping there. Um, but for now, I'm gonna get her in the bath and um, just continue to do de-shedding in the bath. And then we'll de-shed her more by blowing her out with the blow dryer. Won't we? Yes. Um, and we'll pop back and give this little girl a big trim. She needs a big trim. Yes, you do. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Okie dokie. So one floof squeak ball going in the tub. And she is, oh, I have the hiccups conveniently. She is quite the little firecracker. She has a lot of jumping beans in her. Don't you, you're bouncy. So I do want to make sure that she's well secured. Now, you can bear my hiccuping, okay? In the bath, we have some lovely 30 degrees water. And um, a whole lot of deep set. De-shedding shampoo, and what else did we put in here? Some clarifying shampoo just to help break down any oils in the hair. I put a bit of whitening shampoo, oh, pick up, a bit of whitening shampoo in, just to kind of help brighten up her undercoat. What else have we got? And then just some everyday shampoo. So basically, just want to get her as clean as we can. Uh, oh, and there's conditioner in here also. So get the hair as clean as we can, even though she's not very dirty, um, just to try and help shed out um, that ha hair. But also where the mats are, I really want to try and loosen them up and get them as far away from the skin as possible, so I'm not having to cut it back too much. Even though mum wants her short for um, easy maintenance while you know she's got a new bub at home, um, we'll see how we go. The last time I groomed her, we did take her back a bit as well. Um, and again, it was just easy maintenance. But she's grown back all floofy, haven't you? Such a floofy girl. So her back end um, in her sanitary area and her booty is quite matted. And I don't think that we'll be able to loosen that up with a deep shedding bath. Certainly give it a go. What a perfect time to get the hiccups, hey? So when all this hair is wet, it's actually quite heavy. You can see how tiny she is underneath all of that hair. Huh? She's got bar bar. So she does tend to slow down a little bit once she's wet. a lot of matting, those are big chunks of mats. There and there, you can see that. Alright, let's get your bum wet. Good girl. We're just going to get her 
water or saturated all over and then let it soak for five minutes. Cute. That's a cute shake off. Let me have a look, make sure everything under here is all wet. Oh, where are you going? Come on. So I'm not expecting a lot of hair to come out. But we can always try, can't we, Missy? Such a cute little monkey. Such a cute little monkey. That's it, she's saturated. So I'm gonna stand here with her and have a little chat and some pity pats. Yes, some pats pop down for, I don't know, we'll try for five minutes. We'll see how long she lasts and we'll pop back for a rinse off. Okie dokie, it has been an entire three minutes and this little pumpkin is um, not wanting to sit any longer, are you? No. So, I'm just gonna rinse her off with some fresh water. Little monkey, huh? 
Alright guys, let's drain the tub. Oh, let's swap over to our rinse. Doing a very good job, right? So when I blow dry Miss Ivy, it's going to be um, a slow process because she's so little, I can't use a high velocity dryer because I'll blow her away or break something. Ivy is, <clears throat> Ivy is the smallest dog on my books. Aren't you little princess? Yes, you are. whatever just to soak out some of her water very quickly gentle squeeze because if you squeeze these leggy bones and things they're so tiny they're like little matchsticks have to be very gentle don't we mischief now she likes to do zoomies after the bath when she gets out so I do need to be careful that I don't drop her when she's trying to um, make a run for it hey yes not that she wants to run away she just wants to run around don't you Hey. Okay. <laughs> One snuggly bubba. Oh, my chair's in the way. Get it. Oh, I'm gonna fall over. Oh my goodness. There we go. So I am just gonna give her a nice big cuddle and soak up all that water. Oh my goodness, isn't she a darling though? <laughs> Look at that face. Oh thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Who's giving the kisses here? Oh gotcha. I did. <laughs> Such a little baby. Such a little baby. Hey, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys, I could do this all day. Yeah. Yeah, I could. I could do this all day. Hmm? Could you cuddle all day? I don't think you could because you need to go run around and burn some of those bouncing bean energies. Oh, such a little floofy. Hmm? Yeah. The best part of the job is all the cuddles. Uh huh. You ready to have a blow dry? Oh, but you! Look at your little mohawk. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> Can you believe this is going to be a little floof in a minute once it's all dried? Hey, you're going to be so fluffy. Yes, you are. You ready for blow drying? Hmm? Alright, guys, I'm going to get the blow dry set up. Oh, look at those mats there. Come here. Come here. Can you see that? Oh, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, put you over here. Yes. Oh, that's a good shake. Yes, that's a good shake. So I'm also gonna use my detangling spray on her uh, before I dry her. It should help with speeding up the drying process and help with loosening up some of these hairs. Cause you can see, um, and the reason why a lot of shed didn't come out is cause I have already brushed her. Um, and what's left in there is pretty much, it's matted in there. See that? I hope you can see that. 
Um, so the goal is to hopefully get the blow dryer to loosen off as much of that as possible. Get rid of that and this. Put these guys over here. So they can look at you being all beautiful. Yes, I know. Get my little ear muffies on. My little dog is my constant companion She skips and jumps when I come home My little dog is an angel sent from heaven she comes running down the mountain next to me My little dog is my constant companion She skips and jumps when I come home My little dog is an angel sent from heaven She comes running down the mountain she comes swimming in the ocean next to me My little dog is my constant companion She skips and jumps when I come home My little dog is an angel sent from heaven She comes running down the mountain she comes swimming in the ocean She likes playing in the snow next to me My little dog is my constant companion She skips and jumps when I come home My little dog is an angel sent from heaven she comes running down the mountain She comes swimming in the ocean She likes playing in the snow And she likes hiking through the woods next to me My little dog is my constant companion She skips and jumps when I come home Running down the mountain She comes swimming in the ocean She likes playing in the snow And she likes hiking through the woods So she's sleeping on her pillow next to me Yeah, she's sleeping on her pillow next to me One, two, three, four Closet after the storm. I'm not a match, simply waiting to burn. All I am is a friend, your friend till the end. I'm not your impression of a city wish. Loved more than everything you gave for it And I'm not here to criticize the risk All I am is a friend, your friend till the end All I am is a friend, your friend till the end
I am not a witness here to call you in For the things that you've done Or the thing that you did And I'm not the shadow of anyone you've been All I am is a friend Your friend to the end All I am is a friend Your friend to the end All I am is a friend your friend to the end Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I know you want to do zoomies. I'm just trying to be careful because her little thing has come a little bit loose. There we go. Stay there. Calm. Calm down, girl. Good. All right, so she's got quite a lot of matting back here, all down this um, back end of her booty. So the reason why that takes so long is because we want to get it as dry, dry, dry as possible to try and um, help all those. That didn't work. Hairs come out. Um, and you could probably see a few hairs blowing away. Okay. A few of them, but she's definitely got a lot of matting. So, there's hairs going everywhere. So I'm just going to get a good um, spray of detangler on her and then we're just going to brush again. And brush and brush and brush, which is why I didn't record her first a lot of brushing because it is really just a lot of brushing and that's it, that's all it is. Um, before you even do any hair cutting, you are just brushing the dog for so long. So the last time I groomed her, her chest was really badly matted. 
And we had to shave that quite far back, didn't we? Yes. Your chest isn't matted today. It's not the rest of you. Come on, good girl. Let's get this done. Okay. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. So she's definitely used to being brushed. You know, she's a little bit feisty. She's um, generally quite tolerant of being brushed. So it's just a bit of bad luck. When mum dropped her off, we did talk about getting her on a schedule because I haven't seen her for some time now, obviously, because I pretty much shaved her down last time. And look at her, she's a floof again. Um, so we just talked about a fortnightly or monthly schedule for a bathe, blow dry and brush. Just because these guys need such a lot of work and maintenance. And the three little kiddos at home, that's going to be a big tall order, isn't it? Okay, you've got to calm down for me. try to get out as much of the matting as I can but we'll see what happens so these guys should only be scissor cut on a technical level um, I will reiterate the fact that I am a pet groomer not a show groomer and uh, my hand scissoring skill is not high enough to um, hand scissor this entire dog without leaving crazy lines all over her yes so we will be using clippers uh, which mum is aware of and we do discuss that before um, you know accepting me to groom the dog and everyone's happy with that scenario I mean first of all if you're going to have one of these guys and they're matted they're going to end up with clippers anyway but I just wanted to point that out that when you're taking your dog to a pet groomer um, be clear on what you want because hand scissoring is uh skilled service which i am practicing i do have another pomeranian i am practicing on um and i continue practicing and on jude as well but uh you'll pay a lot more to have your dog hand scissored for a start and um, it will take a lot longer okay no 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 hey 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 stop 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 calm down calm down yeah so i'm just gently i know it probably looks a little bit rough but i am really gently just lifting out oh, that excess hair and i'm not really sure how much of this matting will actually get out so, oh it made me donkey on the noggin You are such a wiggle worm. So we'll probably speed this up because uh, otherwise you're just going to sit here for half an hour watching me brush this floof. Okay, no. Ivy. Ivy, calm down, calm down. Slowly but surely we're getting all of this stuff out of here. Not that Ivy's too happy about it, are you Ivy? Hey? Oh, 
Who's a good girl for me, Ivy? Tired, girl. My hand's getting tired. Little Jude barking. You say hush, Jude. Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> so I'm just going to use my comb. It does pull a little bit. Um, I just want to see if we can lift anything a little bit quicker and loosen. Rather, okay. She's uh, my dog Jude is barking outside, so she's um, a little bit inquisitive about that. That's what that is about, not the comb. It's just coincidental timing, <laughs> isn't it? Hey, little rascal. Who is Dad? Is that Jude? I know he's a noisy boy, isn't he? What? So you can see here, we've mostly got her chest dematted and her front end, except for whatever's going on right here. Oh, that's probably to do with that. Oh, that's just a bit of shedded hair. Stop it. It's a big baby. Huh? It's a big baby. So I'm trying to work out what's going to be the best way to move forwards with her grooming. What we'll be able to do to help her with this tangles that she has. In general, with a lot of brushing, you can loosen these things up, but it's how much will she tolerate? So if we're doing this every day at home, a five minute brush will stay on top of this every day. Can get all that hair back in ya? No. Um, and it will prevent the hairs from getting matted up as well. So what's happening is these hairs have been dropped, they're dead hairs, um, but they're not coming out of the coat, you have to brush those out. And if you don't brush those out, they tangle up in the healthy hair and you end up with a matted doggy. Yes, you do. Oh, no, I'm sorry, mate. 
These ones aren't coming out, are they? Huh? So I wasn't expecting so much matting on this part. I was hoping it was all going to be in the sanitary area. And here as well is quite matted. So I really do want to try and resolve this. All of that, because otherwise I'm just going to have to shave it down there. I don't want to. Stop. that off you. It'll mess you up. Yeah. It's pretty tight to the skin. So I do need to try and get it at least away from the skin so I don't have to go like super short. that we'd be able to use a comb attachment on her back and sides and then just scissor down her legs but I might be able to get a comb attachment through this okay you have to get a wriggle on though can't be here all day can we can we no we can't calm down Such a lot of work, young lady.
Alright, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry. So it really is like two jobs. You've got to demat the dog and de-shed the dog. And then you've got to clip the dog and style it. No, 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 come on. Stop. Hi there. Come on. You get the stub. so springy, huh? How are you so springy? Ugh. Okay, sweetheart. Sorry guys, I had to answer my phone real quick. Okay. I'm going to take the mats out from behind her ears real quick, if she'll let me, um, so that we can finish brushing out the sort of front end of her and call that done. Now, it's such a tiny little noggin. Yeah, I know. It's a bit of a meany one. I'm sorry. Stop it. Stop. So these are um, areas that absolutely will not brush out. There's no hope for that. So we just carefully, carefully miss. Shave them off. Now these are right to the skin, so trying to be careful not to nick her skin or anything else, jeepers. Yes, I know, I know. It's one hunk of a mat. Is there more in there? So now this is just all that sort of dead hair that I'm going to continue to try to brush out. Calm, calm, calm. Calm down. Let's see. Let me have a look, see. Big hunk from the other side. Calm down. Calm down. All right. Down, down. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. 
Now we can have a look at if we can brush this out. So I'm going to take this off for a moment. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. slowly. Good girl. Okay, so we can basically almost consider this front end of her brushed out. Almost. Found one more little tangle here. Okay, okay, I know. I'm excited too. So it means I don't have to shave you right up here. Yeah. Good girl. You're a very good acrobat. Yes, I'll give you that. All right, so it's pretty much just the back end now that we've got to try and work out what we can do with it. So it might be um, loosening up, um, cutting away, some, oh I'm sorry baby, cutting away some of those mats so that we can brush it out all over. I'm sorry, I know. Are you okay? Oh you're looking so beautiful though. Hey, right? yeah, you're so beautiful. We do have to put your little um, lead back on because I can't have you jumping around off the table. All right, I know, I know. That looks pretty good, my darling. Okay, are you ready? Don't be silly now. Good girl. Good girl. Alright, all of that looks really good. Now we just work out the booty end. The little piles growing. Calm down, calm, calm down. So this part here is the bulk of it. And I really don't have enough hands for this job. But we'll do our best. Yeah, I pulled on it. I'm sorry. I did do that. It's all right, it's all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Calm down. Okay. Just let me get the hair in the right place. That's all. That's it. That's all I need to do. You know, just snip it off. There we go. So much 
much of it. It's another big chunk. It's not going to come out. Let's have a look and see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Well, let's just wait and see what happens. I'm only going very gently to try and pull out what we can. Uh, 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 come on. Good girl. Come on. It's very gentle, okay? I'm being very gentle. Shh. Oh, right. Did any of it come out? They are generally far more sensitive on the booties, which makes it hard. Stop, you goose. Okay, come on, let me get a hold of it and then I'll just cut it off. Uh, 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 I can't hold it if you're going to be silly. Stop. No, stop. Stop. Stop that. All I want to do is get a hold of it um, and clip it off, but because she's throwing herself around. <sighs> Come on, there we go. That's a chunk off. That's one bit done. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Good girl. Stop. Good girl. So I did explain to mum that she's going to end up with some pretty chunky um, hairs back here to get this off. We, mum was aware of that already, so there's not going to be, I mean, obviously it's going to be a little bit of a surprise to see actually how much of it was matted, but it's not going to be a total surprise that the dog looks the way she does in the end. It's 
so far. Okay. I know, you're all sensitive back there. Sorry about that. I was getting the nasty ones around all your johnny bits, okay? Because we don't want to hurt you. Okay, so under here. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't. I'm just going to start cutting hairs up at this point, I reckon. And we're just going to have to deal with it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's call that what it is. We'll start cutting some hairs. Yes. Yes. Calm down, little queen. Good girl. Ah, <gasps> Missy. Cut that out. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, 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 hey. Stop that. Calm down for me. I have no wild savages. Ah, stop. I got it, see? It's out. So my preference obviously would be to have this dog standing nicely so I could see her um, shape nicely and decide what I'm going to do with her shape. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah. Why do I get in these positions, huh? Let's get rid of this one. Now that we can see it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Come on. You're going to feel so much better when it's done. Okay, my little honeycombs. So basically I just want to get all this matting from her underside of her booty and use and only brush out the top side um, to cover Obviously, the extensive amount of shaving we've got to do. It's alright, girl. I got you. But 
ultimately it just depends on what she can tolerate. Hang on, no, no, no. I know, I know, I know. Hang on, hang on. It's really the side I'm trying to be working on. And I am just going to work on whatever I can for the moment. Till we get somewhere. So once we get rid of some of the bulk of that matting, we can start to work through everything else without causing too much discomfort for her. I know, I know, I know. Alright, back to the side I was trying to be working on. Hmm? Such a lot of fluffiness here. See these? Hey, come on. Um, you can probably tell I'm really not putting very much force on her when I'm holding her like that in this position here. Oh, where's your tail? Okay, for a start, she's somewhat content to lay this way um, but the clipper obviously makes her a bit nervous in those areas which is totally understandable okay come on you can do it so it's this bit here i'm trying to get off Greedy, we can brush out. Come on, come on. Okay. Do let me have a look. Should just about be pretty good on this butt cheek. That there is a mess, but put it down. Let me have a look. Look at that. Hmm, you happy about that? 
Okay, sorry, my battery died um, and I didn't notice. So, I know I said that I would probably have to do some clipping, but so far I've been hand scissoring away, which is not my strong point, you guys, so don't be too judgy. Um, but I'm actually a little bit happy with that. I'm a bit happy. So I was keeping all that hair to show you guys how much shedding came out of her. But now that we're sort of moving away from that and into the finishing tidy ups, get rid of that off the table. All right, my darling. So she is not overly keen on scissoring to begin with, so that does not help me. Stop, stop. No, it does not. However, we are doing quite well. Yes, we're doing quite well. I'm very happy. Stop that. I'm just going to take it easy there because I don't I haven't got that side sorted yet and I'm not sure how this is going to sit over her tail. But I do just want to bring it in a little bit, blend it. So some people can just put the shape in quite quickly. I'm not some people, not yet at least. I do have to kind of take it easy and go back and work on things as I progress through the groom. Ideally, if I can just have her without lines everywhere, I'd be pretty happy with that. Okay, miss. And also she doesn't stretch out very well, so that's making this... I know you guys can't see what I'm doing, but it's just making me get this underline quite difficult. Yes, it is. We'll come back to that. Let's have a look here. So all that work that goes into the star is to make it possible to be able to do this. Um, if you don't get rid of all those tangles and knots, you cannot scissor down a dog. It's just not possible. So the obvious main goal is to have your dog without tangles and matting. Now, I think I'm gonna keep sitting because that seemed to be more comfortable for me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's put a cork in your beans, huh? So I'm working with a moving target, which is one thing that's against me. I need to sort of move to the other side now and then make it all kind of meet in the middle before I go too crazy with it. Let's have a look here. So I've done a little bit on her chest. So um, last time I had to shave all this because the matting, she just had such tight, severe matting in there. There was nothing I could do to get it out. It was painful for her. Even to um, shave it out was painful for her. So I am still going to take quite a bit off this chest so that we don't end up with that matting again in the future. But I obviously want to keep it long as well, like a flowing. Come on. Yes, if you could just sit still, that would be lovely. Come here. Good cow. I would prefer it if she was standing up at this point. Yes, I would. 
But overall, this side is looking nice and tidy. I'm very happy with that, that's for sure. Can I do it again on the other side? That is the question, isn't it? Hey, and we've still got tangles on this side, unfortunately. So uh, we're just doing it all over again. So I'm gonna use my chunkers first just to get rid of some of the bulk. So we still have this here, these tangles here. Okay, I know they're there, I know. Just let me try, okay? Because they just really do just need to be pulled up. That's all. Yep, there we go. Okay, okay. So that's in that sort of tail area. But I think here we're pretty clear. Yes, we are. All right, girl. Come on. We've already done most of the hard stuff. We need this for you to be a good girl while we tidy it all up now. So certainly I don't charge extra to hand scissor at this point because it is not a strong skill set of mine. It's not a skill that I have mastered. Um, uh, I certainly enjoy the opportunity to practice. Um, and when I've got clients who are expecting pretty much the dog to be shaved down, um, hopefully it is a nice surprise to have a tidy little fluff muffin instead when they pick her up. Hey, good girl. Can I get you to turn around now so I can see my shapes better? Good girl. So it looks like we've pretty much got all the tangles out of here, which is awesome. Good girl, Don't go that way. <laughs> Come on, you're okay. Look at that, you're a fluffy, you're a fluffy peanut. You're a fluffy peanut, yes you are. Come on, hey, fluffy peanut. Yeah, go this way, stop. Stop, that's it. There we go, there we go, you're fine. Good girl. Thank you. All right. This is not the way I want you to be. No, it's not. You're not helping me. Starting to blend that down towards the tail area. So we had some big knots there, so that's not um, the shape that I want, but it's the shape that we got after detangling or dematting which is unfortunate. So there we go, see that? Right there, right there. I'm just gonna try and tease it out. Come on, muffins. Good girl, I know. They all Pomeranians, every Pomeranian I've ever groomed has been really sensitive about this spot here. Um, so it's not that it's overly painful, it is just a spot that they don't like to be touched. All right, get a hold of that. No, nope, I've got a hold of it. I've got a hold of it. You've got to stop. Stop, stop, stop. Good girl. I'm going to cut it out for you so that you don't have to have me pulling on it. Because I'm real nice like that. See? Go calm down. That's all. 
let's see if that made all the difference. So there'll still be some hairs that need to be pulled up, like shed dead hair. Oh, okay. Okay. And whatever that is, the next knot further down the tail. All right, no tail brushing, got it. What a good baby you are. So she is being particularly one-sided. She does not want me on this side, which is gonna make it a lot harder for me to replicate everything. But we need to start pushing to get into this side now. You need to start pushing to be a good girl. Yeah. Should I just, oh. okay. What are we doing here? Hmm? What are we doing here? Oh. get this side done okay and it would be 27 times easier if your head was over there somewhere not here so I'm just going to start gently moving down her sides helpful in this scenario. Not. <laughs> Your goose is what you are. And we've still got so much hair coming out of here. Look at that. Come on. How am I going to get you standing nicely? Is there a method for this? Stay. There we go. That's it. <laughs> Come on, you big goose. I don't. Your head has to go somewhere else, not staring at me. I, I'm not even a beautiful creature to stare at. I'm just a creature. Same as you. You're cuter than me. If you could stare longingly at anything other than me, that would be fantastic. You trying to sit down? Oh, no, no, no. We're nearly at the end. 
like we're getting so close now. We really are. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, I did not cut her, but she moved her leg right at the same time as I made a cut. We only just missed you, didn't we? I probably put a hole in my groom. Put a hole in my groom. Oh, this is looking so cute, girl. Okay, I did not take this long on the other side. Um, she was standing a lot better. You know, like a fluffy peanut or a wombat. Like a miniature wombat. obviously just not quite getting where I want to go which is her underline again I struggled on the other side I'm gonna struggle again on this side by the looks of it so much hairs no moving girl no moving where are you going scissors they're being crazy stand up now Baby. Alright, just stand still for me now. Good girl. So I've ended up with just a bit of a line here that really sucks. And it's obviously my fault, I put it there. <laughs> There's not really anything I can do about it. That is uh, the joys of learning. I know that obviously she, with her not standing very still, I've just cut in the wrong spot. And that's just too bad because when she was standing up, this hair hangs forwards and then when she sits down, it hangs flat. It's just the things that make that not happen is having a dog that stands exactly how you want him to stand. Or grooming, which I don't have right now. So those things are going to happen despite, um, you know, my lack of skill and knowledge is in that I didn't realise that hair was hanging in the wrong spot while she was standing. And uh, that's a learning curve and that's going to happen and that's why I don't charge extra for hand scissoring at the moment. Okay, maybe one day if I get enough doggies in that can stand still. Yes. Oh, you got an itch? Let me get that for you. There you go. Let's do this little floofy leg. Okay. 
Hold still now. Hold still. You actually look very good considering when you came in and you were an absolute floofy noofy. Husband, can we have a photo of her before when she came in to see our progress? Hey, now he's got your tail to deal with. So I'm actually not going to take anything off here because she's got a good little shape, her natural shape. It's quite good. Um, and it's not obstructing anything or getting dirty. And that over, I hate that over scissored look, which I always have to do because I'm always taking matting out of this area. So I wish I could get rid of those lines there. Just. Ah, it is what it is. All right. Yeah, I think for her face that is just so cute. And it's all sitting nice and tidy. Now, there is quite a lot of hair here though. But if she doesn't look straight ahead, I can't cut this without leaving great big lines everywhere. matter here it's frustrating because I know I'm on the wrong angle <laughs> with her unwillingness to be maneuvered I don't have a huge amount of options get down I know I'm sorry I'm shoving you around it's okay. You're all right. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? It's quite interesting because you see how much hair is on these dogs and you actually don't take that much off to um, achieve a cute little haircut for them. Go this way a little bit more. There we go. So we can see that her um, pattern is evening up which means we're getting in the right direction. Okay, that's a bit better. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, miss, I just brushed all that. I just brushed all that to exactly where I wanted it. You gonna do me like that? You gonna do me like that? Yes, you are. Now we just have your tail and your floofy noofies. Those are feet for anyone who's wondering what floofy noofies are. Actually, anything's a floofy noofie when it's attached to a dog. Excuse me, ma'am. May I hold your paw for a moment too? I am delaying the inevitable with her tail because she's really not gonna like it and I don't wanna cut heaps of chunks off it. So I'm just delaying that. Um, you really can take too much off Pomeranian feet, honestly. I just keep it super simple because otherwise, again, you get that really over-scissored look or it just does not sit right. Just tidy little toots. That's all they need. Yes, tidy toots. Look at that tail. Who's a happy baby? Oh, my. Oh, my. Mm. Mm. Oh, the cute baby. Oh, the cute baby. Look at that smile. Smile. Say hi, everybody. You're beautiful. All right. There's one tangle. One tangle right here that I've spotted, and that's going to come out. Now, we're going to take a quick break, get a drink, and I'll get uh, Miss Ivy a drink, and then we'll come back and get that tail going. Wait with Miss Ivy. Would you like a drink of water, my love? Radio, Miss Ivy did not... Well, she had a little drink, not much, but stay there. 
I suppose she's only quite small to begin with, so maybe she doesn't drink that much. Let's get back to the table, hey? All right, while I was watching her dance around, I did pick up a few little things that I would like to tidy up. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my. Okay, that was one. Just this area here is not really quite scissored down enough here. There we go. Line is a mess. So, what are we going to do with your little tum tum? little I can't hold you. You seem little. Hang on. Let me get your little sanitary area. Just carefully. There we go. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. It's done now. Okay. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Stay. Alright. So this is just her sanitary getting tidied up. Uh-uh. No. Good girl. So I do need to take my time because she's so flitty. She really does not like scissors in this area. And basically we're just polishing up that booty line. and making it clean and clear for when she is going to the loo. Okay. She really does not like scissors back here. Alright. And where even is your butthole, young lady? There it is. Hey, 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 come on, we don't want no clippers in your booty hole. It would be an unpleasant experience for all of us. Sorry guys, not a uh, easy one to get a visual on for you. I know, this is why I was delaying all of this and putting it off. But ah, uh, Missy, hey, no, you can't buy it. No, no. I know you don't want this done. You calm down. You're going to be okay. All right, stop. Don't get mad now. You stop that. Stop that. 
I see you getting mad and that's not on. No, no, no. I really want to do this with scissors, but that's not going to happen. Uh-uh. No. No, no. No, 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 no. No, don't, don't get mad. Don't get mad now. Good girl. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, so her tail is just going to be a whole other story. Oh, if she goes after touching your butthole. Ugh. So we are just going to work through it as best we can, okay? So it was dyed green um, a year or two ago. So there are some green in there is some green in there still. That's quite a big chunk, so we're just gonna take that off. You alright? Got itchy schnozy, huh? Itchy nose. I don't like taking off big chunks of tail hair because it makes it look I don't know, I don't like the way it looks. Can't see there. There we go. Big mm, chunk from there. Okay. Okay, no. You don't have to lie down, but you're more than welcome to. I know, I know what's there. I'm being careful. Your mum's going to be fairly happy with how you look, I think. If we can get her onto a regular schedule, this will be so much easier and quicker to maintain. There's a shape in there already. And if she's being de-shed every month, like a proper de-shed every fortnight or every month, um, this whole scenario will just be so much quicker. A lot less, you know, I've done at least an hour of just prep on this coat. And the actual putting the shape in and things like that is half the battle. If it even that. So we know that this back end is going to be chunky. That's not going to be perfect because we cut a lot of mats out. Um, and I don't want to obviously cut the rest of her so short to match it. So we just deal with the chunky bits and blend them out next time. Oh baby, you okay? Good job. Good job. She's got pretty tail. Let me have a look. So now that that's all brushed out, we can just have a look at how. Stop, stop. Good girl. Stop. No. No. No, no. Good girl. So we are looking at the side that she just would not let me really get to. So ideally we wouldn't have had to take that much hair away and it would have kind of rounded over like that, but that's where all that matting was.
And of course, we've had to cut quite a bit off the start of this tail as well. So we're certainly missing the mark in shape there, but obviously we can explain why. There you go. Here's a cute little fluffin. Hey, I'm gonna do your back feet and then you are done. Dun, dun, dun. Get rid of some of these bits and pieces from here. Oh, you're so freaking cute. Isn't she so freaking cute, you guys? Can you let me have a look at those back feet without being a total muffin brains? Calm, calm. Stay, you adorable little muffin. Good girl. I know. Oh, you've done such a good job. I know you've had enough of me. I'm going to give you a good old blow dry off. I did that. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I knew it. I knew you were going to move. I knew it. Yes, I did. Good girl. Come on. No. No. Stay. 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 Okay, Ivy, Ivy, hello. Hi. Oh, she calm, baby. Such a baby. <laughs> You're a muffin. You're a lovely muffin. Yes, you are. Stay, baby. Stay, stay, stay. Shh. in the mouth and it says kiss on the cheek oh thank you there we go all right let's clean you off look at all these tools i got everywhere huh? tools everywhere okay okay hang on hang on all right quick slow dry you ready Let's 
have a look how you look. Oh, I know, I know. Let me brush you. Good girl. Good girl. Just have to leave that. We know that it's got chunks because of the mats. Leave it alone. All right, miss. Let's make you smell pretty. Ready? Aim. Fire. Quick brush. Come on. Oh, I know, I know. I know, I know. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, let's call it. I'm gonna ring mum and let her know that she's all ready to go. And while we wait, I will give her nails a quick trim. But that is our little poop. Hey, little Ivy, fluffy peanut. All done, aren't ya? Yeah, all done. Oh, good spinning. Good spin around. Just spin. Just spin. Just spin. You just spin. Oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> Alright guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give us a great big thumbs up for Miss Ivy being such a little champion. Um, say hi in the comments. Hi! <laughs> Love hearing from you guys, reading all the comments. Yes. Um, and if you could share this video, that would make a huge difference to help us get our channel out there a bit more. Otherwise, wherever you are, we hope you're having a fantastic time of day and we will see you again soon. Bye! Ivy, say bye! Bye! Bye. Oh, good girl.